All right, let's take a look at what's going on in the real economy, transportation, for example. My next guest is Greg Swenton. He is the chief executive of Rider System. He joins us now from Miami. And Greg, good to have you with us. Before we get to the health of the economy sure. and the interaction with transports, tell me about the pin and the, uh, the ribbon that you're wearing on your lapel, please. Well, considering the events of yesterday and uh, also thinking back to nine and a half years ago, I think it was important to recognize what prompted what occurred yesterday, and that is the loss of lives of our innocent civilian citizens and a reminder every day of those young men and women in uniform who keep us safe. We can't forget them. All right, let's talk about Rider's system, if we can. Explain for people that may not have followed the fortunes of Rider's system exactly how you are in the logistics supply and the uh, transport management business. Right. You're not necessarily the kind of company that people go into to rent U-Hauls anymore. That's correct. We don't do consumer business. We don't do that consumer one way. We, uh, we engage in commercial activity. So we lease truck to, trucks to businesses. We maintain them. We provide fuel and insurance coverage and all sorts of other peripheral services. We do rental for commercial vehicles. So when people see white trucks with our logos on them, those are commercial rental vehicles. But the vast majority of the units we provide, you won't really realize they're ours because they have the logos of our customers on them. And then, of course, we also provide uh, driving services, value-added services, and global logistics and supply chain. All right, Greg, so tell us about the health of that global logistical supply chain. What are leasing rates like? Well, leasing rates are actually um, consistent in terms of how we measure it and get a return of capital versus the cost of capital, but they are going to be moving up due to the fact that new equipment is considerably more expensive. The, um, the new EPA-mandated standards from 2010 have made the price of new engine technology much more expensive. Now, our value proposition is still very strong because we buy in heavy numbers and heavy quantity. We can pass that along to the customers to whom we lease. But generally, when you have core prices, whether it's fuel or engines going up, that's an impact for all customers. Greg, what are you seeing in terms of volume demand right now, an indication of the economic health of the country? Much improved compared to the last couple of years. We just reported our earnings last week. Uh, commercial rental was up 34 percent in revenue. Our overall company was up uh, 17 percent, half from organic growth, half from acquisitions. Used truck prices are up. So that, that's an indication there is more freight to move, but we've got a long way to go to continue climbing out of where we were a couple of years ago. Greg, what kind of reaction are you getting from customers having to do with higher prices for gasoline and diesel fuel? Well, this is where we can provide supplemental services. You know, there is technology available now that wasn't available 10 years ago. So through tracking systems, global positioning, and monitoring of performance, we are able to help customers with the technology on the heavy-duty equipment to improve their mileage, the gasoline mileage for every diesel gallon that they're utilizing. So we can't affect the price at the pump although we have customers who utilize our fueling services because they can get it less expensively from us than they can at a normal, uh, normal pumping location on the street. But a big impact is with technology for improving miles per gallon. All right, I want to thank you very much. We'll leave it there. Greg Swenton, he is the chief executive of Rider System, joining us from Miami.